the dock area was not commercial in any way, shape, or form. Uh, at that time, um, I'm talking about up to probably the 60s, it was, much of it was swampland. There were no formal docks as there are today. Uh, which is now town property, which I made a deal with, with the town and the town acquired probably 500 feet of waterfront. There were boathouses along there. There were docks, not very permanent docks because it's very exposed, but there were docks and smokehouses and huge reels, great big net winders, I guess is a way to describe them. But uh, the fishermen would lay out his net across this and the net would be, the reel would be turned and the fisherman would do two things. He would pick the net, i.e. he would take out any debris or, you know, sticks, weeds, and at the same time he would mend the net. So I have memories of my dad standing there with his, uh, I forget, shuttle? Yes, it would be a shuttle and he would mend the net as it was turned on to the reel. One of the reasons I remember that because I had the very boring and arduous task of sitting there turning the net. And I had to pay attention to him as to when I could turn it and when I didn't turn it. And I couldn't have been very old because I remember I would have to go f after school from Parliament Oak down to meet Dad and turn the net. Um, something else that most people wouldn't know is there, they kept huge barrels as well and in the barrels was bluestone, I think that's copper sulfate, and they would put the nets in the barrels at various times to soak them so that they wouldn't rot. And one of my jobs was to, like a washing machine I suppose, turn the net around and disturb it or whatever.